especially it was always a pleasure to go to school, teacher, parent meetings. Um, I always felt, oh, years are coming now. My A student, my good boy. So for the first five kids, five boys, I'm the eldest of five boys, so it's Ashley, Daryl, Tyron, Gary, Joshua, Megan, my sister. Unfortunately, uh, my sister passed on um, due to the Cape Flats violence. Um, and of course, it's, it's something that hit us hard as the baby, my sister. And um, that, of course, was a, a very challenging time. I grew up and um, we're going to the house where I actually lived for the first 10 years of my life. And as you can see, the, the poverty, how difficult it is, even the drug busted the air up here now. Um, what the perfect timing. And yeah, got fond memories of playing on this field, uh, got fond memories of playing in this road, uh, building our vanches and coming down here with our wagons and pushing tires. Um, that was good memories, the humble upbringings. The so Ace family um, liked to camp. They were the outgoing people. Pool, and we spend most of the warm days in that pool. If it's not the adults, then it's the children. At the age of 23, I started my business. And at that point, I was still living here. I had a Wendy house at the back, lived in the Wendy house. And we had a shearing crapping machine here to shearing crap the, the packages. And of course, when that took off, um, I could afford to move out of that. Um, at that point, it was, you know, you're still young. You're still nervous. You don't know if they're going to take you serious. I wasn't sad when he left because there was a lot of others. I wanted him to go out and have his own place. Somehow I believed in him. I begged Alpha Farm Pharmacies for a year to get a meeting with him. And they then informed me that I can come to a director's meeting. So it was an elevator pitch at 23 years old in a suit. I then prepared accordingly. I made sure that I had the packages designed. They didn't even know how it's going to look. So when I pulled out my presentation, I had before and after pics of people on drugs, substance abuse. And then after that slide, I showed them, here's your packaging. Give us the go ahead. And, and because of that, um, Alpha Farm gave us a contract and that enabled us to be able to become independent and not to work for companies anymore, to work for ourselves. Welcome to Medical Diagnostic. Uh, this is my company, this is where we manufacture all our technologies. We have different technologies for different diseases, but we also have different um, first world products that we're bringing out. So we developed Africa's first antigen test, and it's the first approved by our regulator, SAPRA. Some of it is molecular assays for DNA testing, others are electrochemical tests, and the electrochemical test is basically where you can actually do diagnostics on your cell phone, we can do HIV testing on your cell phone by plugging like a diabetes strip in it uh, via a USB dongle that we, we've developed. So we've got a production capacity here of about 20 million test kits per annum. We employ 40 employees. We have three uh, postdoc uh, graduates uh, with a PhD in biochemistry, plant biotechnology, as well as genetics. And then we have master's graduates as well. So we innovate here. Africa for Africa is our style. What year was this, do you think? Um, I think when Joshua and Megan were baptised, you can see they're wearing white. Yeah. Um, our years in Bishop Lavers, I always wanted to get out of there. And to me it was like that time it wasn't going too well here. And I think he came to me and he said, I bought a house. Now I thought of it, I never told him. And just before asking him, now what? And he said, I'll still pay your rent. Everything uh, came at the time that it had to. You know, for personal development that is required all the pain that we felt, you know, and that made us resilient. So resilience are built through lessons. You can't go over your lesson, you must go through your lesson. You can't go over it. And that's um, one thing that, that I've developed was the patience 
to understand that the timing is all conducive to if you can carry the blessing. My beautiful child, you now stand alone.